Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike, and today I'm going to teach you how to take this stock Aon Pro and turn it into a 200 FPS powerhouse. Let's check it out. All right, so first step, we're going to go ahead and take out all of our screws, and for this, I'm going to just use this little cup. That way, I don't lose them. As far as I could tell, all the screws are the exact same size, so we're just going to go ahead and dump them all right here. With all the screws out, we can go ahead and pop open this shell, and we're gonna take out one more screw right here where the dart loads into the barrel. With that off, we can take out this whole assembly. As you can see, I've already done the brass mod, but I'll just go ahead and show you exactly what I did. So the end goal here is to get a perfect fit of the brass so that the dart can slide right through, and in order to do that, we'll be using electrical tape and sizing it up. But first of all, I'm going to be painting this one up, so I'm going to go ahead and take everything else out. I'm going to go ahead and put all of our springs and all of our little pieces into this cup as well. That way we don't lose them. It's best to keep track of everything when you're putting it back together. It makes it so much easier. Here we got the plunger tube assembly, and we're going to take out one more screw so that we can get out this piece right here. If you're not doing any cosmetic stuff, all you have to worry about is taking out that front barrel assembly. And one more screw here for the trigger. We'll go ahead and take that out as well, and we'll put that in our cup. Now that we have everything taken apart, we're gonna go ahead and grab some of our pieces. We're gonna be needing some 17 30 seconds brass. This one has been cut down to roughly 10 inches, give or take, but you could just take the one foot that it comes with without cutting it and install it the same way that I'm doing here. You'll probably get similar performance, but I haven't done full testing to know. So we're gonna need some electrical tape as well, and we're gonna be doing multiple wraps around the edge until we get a nice tight fit when we plug it into this barrel piece right here. So as you can see, I'm gonna just be sizing it up until it fits properly. You want a nice snug fit to ensure that it's airtight as well as not obstructing the dart entering the barrel as you can see here. So just test fit it a couple of times, make sure you got the proper air seal because that's what increases the performance on this. And I did roughly six to eight full wraps and it's gonna be about this much of a thickness when you put it in. Okay, so now that we have that done, we can move on to the next step. We're gonna be adding a couple of more wraps, roughly about two full wraps. And that's so that we can get this guide to slide over and we want it to properly line up inside of the attachment here. So that's why we're gonna be needing the tape to keep the barrel nice and straight as well. And we're just gonna go ahead and grab some tape here. And once we have that nice and sealed up to increase the seal, we'll be wrapping some more electrical tape, bonding the barrel into the dart guide. All right, we got it all nice and sealed up. Next up, we're gonna be adding a couple of wraps right here in order to get that cap to stay. So I got my tape and my tape measure and we're gonna see how much we need exactly right here. I did about five inches worth of tape and we're gonna go just go ahead and snip that off and we're gonna start wrapping it around. If it ends up being too much, some tape has a different thickness tolerance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here and do the same process of the full wrap and then test fitting that cap to make sure it stays nice and snug to keep the barrel straight. So the five inches seems to do the trick. It was more like three full wraps, but here we can tell that it's nice and snug and that's what you want. It, it's gonna slide over, you know, it'll take a couple of tries to get the right thickness uh, of tape, but you want that little piece to stay nice and snug and keep the barrel straight. So mission accomplished on that one. Then we're gonna take another small little piece and this will just help ensure that the cap and the barrel stay snug together. We don't want it to be too much tape because otherwise the two pieces will not snap back together with the shell. So just a little guide piece to keep it in there while you're uh, putting it into the shell. All right, and now on to putting it in. We're just gonna keep test fitting it, you know, and make sure that we got the right amount of tape and the right amount of barrel in there. And this seems to be working out pretty good. So pretty happy with that. And I'm gonna be using the Max Striker barrel to cover up the brass. It looks really cool and it helps also keep the barrel snug. As you can see, I added a couple of wraps of tape on that as well. So definitely a cool attachment. You can get by with using the brass without it, but 
for safety purposes, I'm gonna keep this on here and you can see it keeps the barrel nice and snug and concealed as well. So really cool little cosmetic piece. There's other ways that you can go about, you know, making your barrel safe. You can use a scar barrel on the tip and you can wrap the whole thing in tape. But yeah, a couple of wraps keeps that nice attachment on there. So it was roughly about one and a half full wraps. So just a couple of wraps on there, slides right on. Electrical tape, it is a miracle product. Now that we have the barrel done, we're gonna move on to increasing the power. And here, all I'm gonna be using is a stock chrono spring that I had laying around, and I'll be doubling it up with the included spring in the Aon Pro. An additional step you can take to increase your air seal would be to use some of that plumber's tape on your O-ring within the plunger. But for this, I ended up not needing it. So as simple as that, we twist that cap, we nest the spring inside the other one, and boom, we got extra power. You could also essentially use a cut down long shot spring with a higher grade power limit. So you can definitely make this thing hit even harder than what I am. Now let's paint this bad boy up. All right, let's check this thing out. See how it's looking. Came out earlier, did another coat or two of it, and it's looking like it's nice and even all around. Right on. Let's check this other one real quick. Stuff does dry pretty quick. It's about 10, 15 minutes and I came out and did another coat. I'm digging it, looking nice. All right, I'm gonna do a clear coat real quick. Let it dry overnight and then we'll put this thing back together and get some chrono readings. All right, we got it all painted up. We got all of our spring, we got all of our barrel mods done. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we remember to put all our screws inside. Don't forget the ones that go for the dark gate. You definitely want that in there. We got all of our springs, put that shell on button this bad boy up and then we're going to hit the chronograph and see what kind of numbers we're getting. First thing I wanted to test out was just the stock spring with the brass barrel and you can see we're getting similar performance but in some cases we're getting worse performance so we definitely want that extra power spring. Ooh, now we're talking we got the doubled up spring and we're hitting in the 200s. So for this test, the first six shots I used were the max darts, and they were getting an average of 200.3, and then the AF Pros were getting 199.9, so very comparable. All right, let's slap a scar on this thing and see how it's doing. Definitely losing power, but the accuracy will get increased, and if you're playing somewhere where the cap is 200 and your darts are hitting a little too hot, a nice way to combat that would be to use this scar barrel. Some of our shots, like right there, we did still hit 200 and in the 190s, so pretty, pretty good still. Let's see uh, what we got for the playback here. We had an average of 173 with the max darts, and for AF pros, we were hitting almost 190 for an average, so very good. Let's hit the field, see how this thing's going. Gotcha! Gotcha. Gotcha, Gerald. Gotcha in the dump house, Gerald. In the butt. In the butt, buddy. Gotcha. Gotcha.
And that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe if you want. If you'd like to check out some of my gameplay, click on that playlist. If you want to see my thrifting adventures, go for that one. Thanks again. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one.